It's a holiday tradition hearing those bells ring outside the store and there's still time to donate to the Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign, but time is running out. The Hampton Roads Area Command really could use a hand. Its goal was $500,000. Yeah, with only four days to go, the Salvation Army has raised about half of that. Dana Smith explains why it's falling short. Merry Christmas. It's a sound a lot of us are used to hearing around the holidays. The ringing bells of the Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign. But once again, the kettles are bringing in less money. You know, our goal is $500,000, um, and so right now, you know, we're still a little ways from that. Um, you know, we've raised this far, or so far as of last Friday, we've raised $258,000. Uh, compared to last year, we were at $274,000. So what's causing the drop in donations? Area Commander of the Salvation Army of Hampton Roads, Major Donald Doman, acknowledged the pandemic could have played a role, but mainly he said it's a lack of volunteers to ring the bells. I think that's a big impact. You know, we have, you know, we have a lot of locations that are allowing the Salvation Army to be out there, uh, but there are days where we have no bell ringer to put there. Fewer donations mean less money to help people in need. Unfortunately, it's those that we serve uh, that are the ones that uh, will be affected. Doman said if the Salvation Army falls short of its budget goals, the command will have to rework how much money it spends on programs that help thousands of families every year. Not just during Christmas, but throughout the year. You know, we have a women's and children's shelter, a men's shelter. Uh, here at our offices here, we have a drive through food pantry Monday through Friday, uh, you know, every week. Then we have our rent and utility uh, assistance programs. These are the final days to donate. So if you hear the bell ringers, drop in some spare cash. This is the last push. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. And Doman said the Salvation Army has raised about $13,000 online so far. That number also is down, though, compared to this time last year.